hello and welcome to game devar i'm sure you so as you can see i am trying 3d in godot 4.0 and bear in mind it's quite buggy right now it's not even in alpha so if you want to experiment with it you can do it on your own but don't it don't use it for production so these models i have downloaded it from polyhaven you can download it too and it's all free so let's see so i haven't done much but just imported the models uh, even the imported it's quite buggy and there are some normal map error see or i don't know it's some sort of shading error but you can guess it's alpha <laughs> so next thing if you want to use hdfgi of code out you need to have a world environment first and then you can change all the settings so i am using background with sky at 0.6 sky phys physical sky material and these are all the settings just general default settings so i am using ambient light with sky mode on color is something little grayish sky tone is filmic there are other option too you can try auto auto exposure is off so surface reflection is also a little buggy but somewhat works next thing is sdfgi this is without sdfgi and you can even see the performance not half the resolution with that thing fps view information and view frame time see as soon as i turn on the uh it isn't impacting much of the fps so without skylight it looks like this quite dark read skylight and now it's somewhat bright bounce feedback i don't know what it does probably something related to the global illumination but i don't see much of an impact cascades cascade is like splitting of i don't know what <laughs> a kind of shadow thing maybe maybe not and you can experiment with all these settings glow a pinch of salt to the whole salad <laughs> you can say and one more thing which is quite awesome is volumetric fog you see quite dense right now but it makes things quite awesome quite dense quite awesome so after somewhat importing the asset you can see uh, i have separated the material out and currently these are all the settings that you can change on a particular material transparency call mode but disabling it just uses both side depth shading diffuse specularity see ah uh, does not look correct to me but it's working thing is okay. so this is the default texture so i just turn on the srgb which makes it a little dark and little more metallic type to my liking so there are a lot of settings that you can try um Uh, 
not somewhat buggy. Check this thing without normal app. And without SRGB. Another thing about SDFGI is that it changes the light on fly it's kind of like lumen and with the skylight physical sky being a part of the environment you can see uh, how it affects the whole setup quite cool it's quite cool and it's somewhat lit the tech is somewhat like lumen but overall it's quite cool for Godot to have this type of thing there are also different kind of global illumination for example voxel but last time i tried that voxel it was quite buggy reflection map reflection probably also seems a little buggy to me display view gizmos yep that box Light map GI works, but you can try it on your own. Yeah, this is the last time I tried the light map back. It was working fine. So for to use light map back, you need to have uh, you need to do this unwrap UV2, and you also need to make this mesh static over here baked if you use dynamic it will be a dynamic map material and there are other settings too not this only this what other thing that you can change in 3d is all the surrounding settings you need to turn on advanced setting in order to use this you can change little little things over here I am not going to explain all the settings cause I don't know it myself <laughs> but but you can experiment with it to make the balance between FPS and quality in order to achieve the result you want uh, I hope your experiment will be successful and find that it's still in alpha so it's all experiment Yeah, now let me try the voxel too. I hope it does not bring a crash into this house. Ah, it's working now. Somewhat working. Let's turn off the test FGI. Nope, I will eat. Why is it giving this type of thing? Hey, what happened to it? Oh, 
ओके आई नीड टू मेक थिंग्स डायनामिक आई गेस लेट मी टर्न दिस थिंग कैबिनेट फेज द कैबिनेट यप दिस इज द कैबिनेट लेट मी मेक इट लेट मी मेक इट डायनामिक और इट्स ऑलरेडी डायनामिक शुड आई मेक इट बेक Still showing that yellow. Node configuration, no voxel data set. So there is no this. Wait, why? Some were working, but still giving me that error. And it's quite bright. Not up to my liking. Let's reduce the energy. I don't know what's happening with the voxel jet right now. Still buggy, I guess. Eh, but some would. Some would okay. So that's it for the three D part. I hope you like this video. There's not much to show. <laughs> right now it's all that thing that you do and i hope all after all these bug fixes and all the things that are coming in godot i will soon release a proper video around 3d part and make it more sensible and more up to the real world scenario real game engine scenario and probably make some small level or something uh, some interior uh, in order to see the full 3d capability of code thank you so much